Hey fellow travelers, Matt from William Henry with another peek behind the curtain here at the studio in Oregon. Hope this message finds you well and for this installment of the series, I wanted to talk a little bit about skulls, just broadly, um, the way we use them at William Henry and how we sort of came to that um, and, and how we see them at William Henry or certainly how I do. So uh, early on at William Henry, as I started to do decorative silver techniques and various things to sort of adorn my pocket knives, I had requests for skulls um, because they are uh, ubiquitous and there's always a through time. They're not a fad, there's always interest. Um, and I shied away from it because I saw them as kind of dark and morbid and, and too much goth and uh, too much edge. Um, but then I started to do some research and when I, you know, for me, it was a, a process of discovering that the skull connects us as humans. Uh, it connects us uh, in our inevitable understanding of, of mortality, but also in our desire for immortality. Um, the various traditions that see the skull as a manifestation of the end of our physical life, but the continuation on some other plane of a spiritual um, life. So once I understood that and I saw the light around skulls rather than the darkness, I started dabbling. Uh, with skulls as various adornments in William Henry. And of course, as soon as I did and William Henry did, the response was great. And they have become an evolving part of our line ever since. So you can take the, the classic form. This is a, an absolutely traditional, this is just a human skull. And that in itself connects all of us. And it's, um, it's very arresting and it's striking and it's instantly recognizable across cultures around the world. Um, if from that form, you can also then decorate or upgrade or add different touches to sort of um, bring your truth or your art to life in that form. Uh, and we do that quite often at William Henry. I love doing it. And um, we pay homage to other traditions uh, in that in those styles and most significantly is the sugar skull from Mexico and this is from Dia de los Muertos in Mexico. It is a beautiful tradition that blows my mind of um, honoring and representing those that have passed on to the next plane with a sugar skull in this plane and it's they're beautifully done and they're colorful and they're vibrant and they speak of anything or they inspire anything but morbidity. Um, they inspire life and celebration. Uh, and I just, I find that beautiful. So uh, one of our earliest, uh, some of our earliest work with the skull was um, our own interpretation of that sugar skull and that tradition. And so this is a calavera ring, big and bold and beautiful and super detailed. Uh, I love the way this comes. Um, I love the way it presents. Um, again, it's a skull, but it uh, it's, it's intense and it's intensely joyful, or that's how I see it. Uh, and that, to me, is a great juxtaposition. We'll do the same thing, um, using that same form, but now building it in a bracelet all the way around the wrist with 13 beads and a center of 18 karat gold and inlaid sapphires, but all of that extraordinary detail. Um, and again, it's, it's that, that, that mix, that interplay between light and dark, between hard and soft, that for me has always been a fascination with the art and the utility of William Henry. And that really extends into sort of different takes on the skull. So we do engravings with this beautiful detailed gold inlaid, you know, emerald set, very fine engraving anchored by a skull. And somehow that all coexists beautifully. And I love, um, I love that interplay. Um, so, You'll see different stuff from us, whether it's jewelry, whether it's engraving, whether it's carved silver, whatever it may be. Um, the skull is that motif that we all share. Um, and it is both, again, it's a recognition of our mortality, um, but also uh, in so many traditions, uh, sort of a symbol of immortality um, and of a continuation onto whatever comes next. And I love that idea. I love the way it connects us. I love anything that connects us and doesn't divide us in terms of the language I want to be speaking in through the William Henry uh, sort of design and production process. So skulls are foundational ever since I made the jump um, and began to understand them as I do now. Um, we'll continue to evolve that art form. And it is, um, it's just an essential piece of the puzzle 
certainly not all we do, but something that we do with great pride. So thanks as always for uh, uh, hanging with me through this. I look forward to the next time.